the neuron. So the number of neuron in vertebrate, it ranges small mammals. For example, let's take mouse. It is around 100 million. In human, it is around 100 million, 100, sorry, 100 billion. Whales and elephant, it is more than 200 billion. So the neurons in the nervous system, it is much more or it is more than the people on earth. Much more numbers of neurons in the uh, nervous system. And when we see the uh, glial to neuronal ratio, it ranges from 1 is to 1 to 10 is to 1. So that is the range uh, for glial to neuronal ratio. So the neuron, the cell body, cell body of the neuron, it is also called soma or perikaryon. And this cell body has processes, uh, dendritic, like dendrit uh, dendritic branches. And this dendrite, they receive the information from other neurons. And if it is excited, then the neuron or cell body or neuron at exon hillock, it triggered the exon potential and the information sends to other exon, uh, sorry, other neuron through exon. So the dendrite, they receive the information and exon, the exon, it sends the information to other neuron and the exon potential that triggered at exon hillock, if it is excitatory. And the exon potential, it can move at a speed of 0.5 to 120 meter per second. It is very fast. The large exon, exon over one uh, micrometer in diameter in general are myelinated, both in CNS and PNS. An exon which are less than one micrometer in diameter are not myelinated. So that have four distinct anatomical reasons. That in right cell body, exon and presynaptic terminal. These four anatomical reason is very important for processing information. So dendrite receives cell body, uh, they produce a lot of proteins or macromolecules that is necessary for neuronal function. Exon, that takes the information to other neuron, a presynaptic terminal where the chemical or the, uh, they form the synapse with the other neuron or the muscle membrane. So the dendrite, Dendrite, you receive the information and dendritic spines. What is dendritic spines? So these are the dendrite. They have, uh, they are, this structure is called dendritic spine. And this structure is important. If you zoom it uh, in a bigger picture, this dendritic spine, they provide the large surface area where it synapses with other neurons so that neuron transmitter released by the neuron can be properly uh, utilized or bind with the receptor and the, with the postsynaptic uh, membrane where they receive the information from other neurons. So this dendritic spine, they provide the large surface area uh, when they synapse with the other neuron. Cell body or soma, it, uh, it have the nucleus and all the organelles necessary for the functioning of the neuron, like the ribosome, Golgi bodies. So this mitochondria, and where the protein synthesis occurs and for neuronal function, all the necessary proteins are synthesized here. And it also has liposomes, lysosomes, and proteosomes. And these organelles might use for degradation of used protein or damaged or surplus protein. So what is exoplasmic transport? It is the process of transporting protein or macromolecules to exonal terminal from cell body because the proteins or other molecules are formed in the cell body and it have to be transported to the exonal terminal. For example, synaptic uh, membrane, synaptic vesicular membrane, that membrane are formed in the uh, cell body and that synaptic 
Vesicles have to be transported to the axonal terminal. Exon. Exons are myelinated or non myelinated. Exons are myelinated in the PNS by the small cell. And uh, CNS, it is by oligodendrocyte. So the swan cell, they wraps over the exon. They wraps, myelin sheet is interrupted at regular interval by space called node of Ranbir. So they wraps over the exon and some spaces, some area are not wrapped by the myelin sheet. And these nodes, which area of the exon that was left over by, um, uh, by uh, uh, the area which is not myelinated, the exon area which are not myelinated or that one left over by uh, from myelination, that area is called node of Ranbir. The area which is myelinated, there they cannot uh, uh, produce the exon potentials. So these are insulator. The area which are non myelinated or this are node of Ranbir and that area where the action potential generate and so the, the myelinated neuron, the action potential, they move from one node of Ranbir to another node of Ranbir. So they, it enhances the movement of action potential. Then presynaptic terminal and this is called, this is also called synaptic bottoms. So these are the area at the end of exon where they synapse with other membrane or they synapse with other neuron or the cell or the muscle cell. So where they release the neurotransmitter. So this is between the neuron and the muscle cell. So neuromuscular junctions and there the acetylcholine is released and the uh, muscle cell they receive or the acetylcholine bind with the sarcolemma and the muscle is activated. So here we have the junctional fold. It is in muscle cell and in exon to or in neuron to neuron when the exon synapse with the dendrites, they have the dendritic spines. That is also the same uh, function they provide the surface area, but in muscle also the junctional fold they provide the uh, large surface area where the acetylcholine uh, they bind with their receptors. So these are the four parts uh, of neuron.